Blogger Roundup. It is MyOrganized.life, live, June 1st, 2018. June 1st. June 1st. New month. New month, 6 one, 18. Wow. Time flies when you're having so much fun, and we have fun every Friday here because this is MyOrganized.life Live, and I'm John Hunt. And I'm Leanne Thompson. And this is the show where we give you and you, me and you, and me, and organizing and tips, advice, uh, and more importantly, get your, we get comments, your comments, questions. Put Whether them in. you're watching live or on the replay, we need comments. Mm -hmm. We are, we thrive on comments. We do. You we know, do. Even if they're like, hi, uh, hi. We'll write hi. Write Thanks hi. for watching, and, and Janice. We, you know, if you write hi, we get like really excited and we'll write hi back. Or, I'll, I'll send John a little oh, did chat. Janice say hi? No, I just made that name oh, up. Oh, okay. I'll send I John a little. one of our regular <laughs> listeners. No. Our viewers. Okay. No. Well, it was funny. Last night I was making dinner and my husband was playing with the kids in the living room. And all of a sudden I heard two familiar voices and I stopped stirring the spaghetti and I said, hmm. what are you listening to? And I peeked my head in and he had his phone. He's playing our show, and Natalie, my oh, oldest no. daughter, was watching. Watching. She, Mommy, when did you do that? <laughs> okay, now here's the important thing. <laughs> Pretty funny, thing. yeah. Did they comment? Of course he, no, because I'm sure Come he. Come on, Drewski, you got to comment. He probably watched it under my YouTube account or something. Okay. You can comment on your own And comment. so then when people look at it, they'll be like, why is Leanne why commenting, is commenting on, on her, her own show? show? Okay. Dork. All right. Anyway, well, that was a fun story of last night. It's Friday. You know, like, it's, this is why this Blogger Roundup is one of the most popular shows. We're loose. It's fun. It's Friday. We're getting ready to take off for the That's weekend. That's right. Uh, but we bring you, this is really one of the most important shows of the week because we go out and scour the web yep. for the best blogs. Uh, spread the good organizing. news. Yes. And you know what? I think everyone we have today has been on the show before because yes, at they least are once. dedicated bloggers. They are. You know, we cannot... Feature your blog if you do not write blog right. posts. We like we don't want to do something from three months ago or three years ago. Yes, um, some of the ones I find are pretty old. Yeah, well, you know, so um, and we need like meaty stuff. Yeah, so if you know a blogger, really seriously, in the comments, uh, shout out your favorite mm -hmm. blog as long as it has something to do with organizing. Right. We have had a someone mention the blog a slob comes clean. Yeah, and I've looked at her blog. She does a lot of podcasts. Oh, she does. She does podcasts all the time. Maybe so we should get her on our podcast. We probably then. should. Okay, so what? So what's the point? But she. I'm just saying it? her blog is great, but it's all podcasts, and oh, okay. we can't really take that her podcast and yeah, put it into all paper. About the, the written word, you know that the, the art of writing word. has has uh, been it's, lost. It's I been think lost a lot to of, hashtags and swipe up and yeah, everything I mean, else. Everyone's got like a one second attention span. Exactly. And to write well, and then a lot of these books that are coming out. Do you know that a lot of these books that are coming out, you know, books I'm talking about. Are written by somebody else, even the author. Ghostwriters. Ghostwriters. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's the deal on that? I don't know. This world is this changing. This world's coming to an end. Someday. Soon. Yeah. yeah, it will. Okay. So uh, <laughs> anyway, where are we so start? we're talking today. We're going to start with Shauna Turner. Okay, there we go. The Shauna method. We've had her on the show a bunch of times. Yeah. Her blog has been she's featured. Awesome. She is awesome. And as you say. She's the only organizer that has her own method. Yes. I think actually other organizers have their own method. They just don't call it. They don't call it their, their own name. Yeah, but that's good. So she talks about re-entry after vacation. Okay. So we just had a memorial vacation. People might Ooh. have been out of town. It's... I'm, I'm already relating to this because any kind of the first day back to work you're, after... Mm -hmm. oh, yes. It's, you know, it's hard yeah. enough, you know, to drink enough coffee to right. like get going but yep. after a long weekend where you've mm -hmm. slept in or imagine if it's a week long i mean i'm oh. going on a week long vacation oh, yeah. soon and um, does that mean i have to do the show by myself yeah you probably should oh. and i won't be able to tune in because i will be out of out of, out of service for area? a week oh, wow. i'm looking forward to it that'll be nice yes unplug and Unplugged. then you'll have to apply this to yourself exactly when you come back. So, exactly yep right. so re-entry after vacation one manage your expectations ahead of time okay so Know that when you get back, stuff isn't just going to magically be calm. When you yeah. get back to your desk, you're going to have people interrupting you, Guess needing what? stuff. You're going to have about 8,000 emails, right? Because Probably. Because when you go on yeah. vacation, people don't uh, just stop sending you emails. No, do they? they send it no oh matter what. God. Even if they get you out of office, yeah. they're still going to send you emails. You know what I do? I mean, this is probably bad, but... The night before I come into work after a, like a week, I just go online. Don't and, steal this tip this because tip? that's part of something that's coming she, up. She must have done that. But yes. Okay. Okay. I won't, okay. I, won't, I won't give my tip then. Right. Okay. So then 
when you come back and stuff is crazy, don't yeah. think, oh, I should never have gone on vacation. No, that's not the no, point. You need, you need to go vacation, to yeah. unplug and just recharge. So number two, use the trip home to tackle anything you can. Okay. So if you're waiting for a flight, maybe go through your emails. Mm. If you're a passenger in the car and suddenly your yeah. Wi-Fi picks up, go through your emails, delete some junk. Now, um, the only thing about that is that, I don't know if you're like this, but when I'm on a vacation and mm -hmm. it's that last day, there's always that tipping point where it might be 10 hours before, it might be on the air, in, where you s switch off from I'm done with vacation and now yeah. I gotta get back to work. And you don't really wanna, so what I say, what I do to clear my email out, I do it like right before I go to bed the night before. Okay. So like, but not like five hours earlier right. or whatever. But I think it's a good point. If yep. you've got some downtime, like in an airport, yep. you know, at least clean those emails right. up. Because there's nothing like coming in and spending your first whole couple of days just trying to go through email. Right, yep. Um, maybe check some voicemail, make mm -hmm. your grocery list, mm -hmm. a to-do list for the upcoming week, yeah. for the days, and then discuss a plan of attack. So maybe yes. you can get the bags, maybe your wife can, Right. You know, grab the kids' of stuff that they can't carry or whatever. Just have kind plan of a plan. It out. That's great. That's a great mm -hmm. idea. Um, number three, once home, eliminate any optional activities. Mm -hmm. So she suggests declining any social activities for a week mm -hmm. until you've been home for a week so you can recharge. Just make yeah. sure everything is kind of back into your regularly scheduled routines. Yeah. Okay. And let's see, extend the glow of vacation. So don't get home and just be in a mad rush to get everything done and then forget about yeah. what just happened. You know, talk about it, look at pictures, you know, upload your pictures to the computer. Don't just yeah. leave them on your camera, stuff right. like that. Continue to enjoy the vacation even after it's done. Good. All right, let's put the slide back yes. up for the Shauna Method. The Shauna and Method. Dot com. Yep. And, uh, and the name of this one is, it is re entry. After vacation. I really like that term because mm -hmm. re entry is kind of like the rocket coming back, but I know when we drive back from our cabin, right when we hit about 30 minutes away from home, then you kind of like, ugh. Yeah. The, the heaviness of the world. You start recognizing the buildings, like That's, you've been gone for decades. Yeah. It's like, oh, I remember that movie theater right there yeah. off of 35. Yes. <laughs> All right, well, let's move on to our next one. This is from our friend Hazel Thornton, at org4life.com. And the title of this one is Family History. Why organize it if you don't care about genealogy? Oh, All right. Okay. Well, you know, I care about genealogy. But I do too. Guess what? Some not, people don't. Not everybody does, do they? No. Nope. Um, but it is the number two hobby. Yes. Do you know what the number one hobby is? Yes. Okay. Well, because I read the article. <laughs> ah, should we should we give it to people? No, we'll wait till the end. Okay. Make them hang That's on. Like it's Hazel, a did she give it the little tease? Do you know mm -hmm. what the number one hobby is? Oh, come on. And then she goes about talking about this other stuff. But you know. Organizing your family history is not just about doing genealogy research. That's kind right. of one of her main points there. And uh, so she has some whys in here, why you should organize your family history. Uh, well, one, so you can easily find what you're looking for when you want to read it, use it, admire it, display it. I mean, okay. I think that um, it's fun once in a while to just, I don't know if you call it memorabilia or it's pictures or whatever, just to go back and mm -hmm. look at stuff from the past. And it's yeah. just fun to do. My grandma was, was just recently cleaning out with her stuff and she gave me a whole bag of stuff yeah. and just gave me some pictures. And then she also came across these pictures that she didn't know who they were because oh. they were from my grandpa's side when my grandpa is no longer living. Yeah. But his aunt is still alive and she's, I want to say she's like 104. Oh my goodness. So my grandma and my mom are going to go visit this aunt to see who are in these pictures yeah. before she's gone and no one knows. So that's wow, kind of cool. That is cool. Yeah. Um, well, the other reasons you want to kind of organize, you want to be prepared for, you know, the case of death, like, uh, because, you know, what's interesting, you know, we've done some of that with family photos too. And if the person's passed away, mm -hmm. then you lose that, you know, yeah. that intelligence right. about who yep. that is. Yep. And you're just trying to kind of guess. Mm -hmm. um, be prepared in ca uh, case of a natural disaster. We've talked about that on this show before. Um, and, and plus, so your space and your mind and your computer hard drive don't get so cluttered. Right. You know, this is an organizing, there is an organizing reason behind, you know, getting your family history yep. and genealogy mm -hmm. and things kind of put together. So I thought one of the interesting things she wrote in there was, she said, people take more pictures on their phones in mm -hmm. one day yeah. than our ancestors did in, in their, their lifetime. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Think about that. Oh, it's I mean, We snap pictures of everything. Yeah. And now it's kind of neat on the iPhone. I just got a new iPhone a little while ago. They have the iCloud auto backup. Oh, that's so you take nice. The, so, because, you know, you think about, okay, you take the pictures, then I need to upload them mm -hmm. to the cloud. But on the on the on this one, and they're available for I'm sure everyone. It's but it's just very easy to set up. Yeah. You take the pictures and it automatically backs them up every day to. Oh, that's really nice. Yeah. So if your phone gets destroyed or whatever, you do have them. Now the downside is it backs up everything. Oh right. So if you're taking ten thousand pictures. If you take then, a picture of that you know food box to so tell cost you, you like five hundred dollars <laughs> a month for storage. And all storage that. of a food yeah. label. Yeah. Um, okay, so you might be saying, when is the best time to do this? Because we know it's important to organize it, mm -hmm. but uh, and probably you're guessing the best time is now. Now, right? And they're right. Right, it right? is. Yeah. But the new year is a good time uh, because you can get organized, and it's always one of the top. Did you know this? Top five resolutions is get organized. Yeah, yep. that's why organized. January is Go Month. Go month. Get that's organized right. month. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe schedule this around when a child or a grandchild is born. Uh, or graduation, just those family life events when you know probably there's gonna be more pictures too. Yep. And other things that you, you know, it just gives you some motivation. Mm -hmm. So there's some other points in here. We don't wanna give it all away. We nope. want you to go to her website, which is orgforlife.com. And it's in the number four. Yes, org, org for the number four life.com. Life. Family history, why organize it if you don't care about you? Hey, we never said what the actual oh. number one hobby was. Do you want to announce it or do you yeah. want me to? No, because you number the one is gardening. Gardening. Ah, number one yes. hobby in America is gardening. Wow. Okay. Well, that's I was good. kind of surprised. I was surprised at number two, too. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. let's move on to our next slide All right. and our next article. Uh, yes, this is Ellen DeLapp, the NAPO president. Oh, yes. Professional organizer.com. Her blog post is How to Set Up a Successful Summer Routine. Well, good. We've kind of had the one on the yep, transition, I, mm -hmm. and now we need that summer routine. And, you know, yep. this time of year, a lot of people are getting into, you know, summer schedules. Changing the schedule. And, yep. School's wrapping up or mm -hmm. has wrapped up, and now we're into this. Mm -hmm. So, what does she say? Well, she said it's for... important to keep your routine. So you can't just let everything go out the window yeah. because that would just cause chaos. So, I'm keep... trying to tell my kids that. Just because school is over doesn't mean they their chores are over that oh. they do during the school year. So yeah, right. I don't know if that's one of the points. But. Well, it says keep just enough structure. You know, don't eat junk food and yeah. candy all the time. That's not good. Keep the basic structure. Sleep on your regular schedule. Yeah. So don't let the kids stay up till all hours at night. Mm -hmm. um, keep your healthy meals going. Stuff like that. Keep that. Cool. Um, keep just enough organization. So don't let your desk get too messy. All right. Um, Keep keep on top of being productive. Uh, keep your calendar up to date so you know what's going on. Uh, she says basic organization applies no matter the season. Right. And not saying just because school's over, we're going to just change our plan. Right. You know, your organizing plan should be good all year round. Right. Yep. Uh, keep off your devices. So if you head off for vacation, stay off your phone, stay off your email. Tell it's, that to a 16-year-old. It's year hard. Old. It's hard. Yeah. I know. And then return back a day early before you have to jump into you know yeah. work and that then you can reconnect yeah just give yourself a little time to we usually do that connect. on our summer vacation i usually take a week off but i usually come back a day early yes. so i have one full transition day yep. before i have to come in and deal with the, the deal routine. with the show the show and, well, is just no, so deal stressful with that, what uh, shauna was talking oh, about oh right yeah transition back yep, just exactly having that buffer day is really good yep and let's see keep your kids busy enough okay so Keep them busy, but don't keep them too busy. And right. maybe alternate between slow and busy weeks. Um, give them time to be at home and at camps. And if, when they're at home, they'll appreciate the time to sleep in and yes. kind of recharge. And a little boredom can actually be good for them. Mm -hmm. And screen time, of course, limit it. There are studies all the time on how too much screen time is oh, has yes. a negative effect. And then the last thing is keep trying something new. So summer is a great idea to yep. try new stuff. Maybe get involved in a new activity, you know, read something new, or just learn something new. Yeah. So that great is tip. So we'll put the slide back up. That is professional-organizer.com. Ellen, Ellen DeLapp. Mm -hmm. And the title, the title again is how is, to set up a successful summer routine. Wow. Well, you know, this all all this stuff is really timely because you know it's June first. It's mm -hmm. You know, I, some people considered Memorial Weekend like the start of summer. I mean, summer, summer doesn't really start until I don't uh, know. June 21st. Is that the date? Okay. But speaking of summer, 
I think we're okay. going to play a quick oh, little commercial. Oh, we there are. Because okay. something big is going on right now at MyOrganized.life. Listen up. It's the summer sale at MyOrganized.life with 25% off office products like file folders, hanging folders, accordion files, and presentation products. You can get it at MyOrganized.life. That's MyOrganized.life. 25% off all products. It's our summer sale at MyOrganized.life. So there you have there it. There we go. That oh, was a great commercial. That was. That was. Now great we do have a special code yes. uh, for the 25% off. And uh, so if you're uh, watching this right now and you mm -hmm. go to MyOrganized.life, after you put all your stuff in your shopping cart, just put in the code F B hot 25. We'll put it down here on the screen. FB hot 25. All right. Hit apply and you'll get 25% off. The entire order. It's our summer sale. Through right? through June. Through June 30th. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, Great. Uh, so for those of you that stuck around here or watch the replay all the way through, here's your opportunity to get 25% off. Mm -hmm. FB hot 25 is the code. Go there. Run there right now. Uh, because I think we're wrapping up. I think we are. Yeah, it's, it's so Friday. We've got to get going. We got to get out of here. Yep. We'll see you so, on Monday for. Yeah. Um, uh, what, what do we have Monday? You know what? I was going to ask you about that because yeah. I had the May calendar. Have you even done the June calendar yet? It started. It, it has started. started. Yep. Yeah. You have June first because you have blog around up. Of course. Okay. So it started. <laughs> You're going to tune in Monday, 2 p.m. Central. <laughs> find out what's new. Uh, Three Eastern and noon Pacific, and find out what. Uh, what we're actually talking about on Monday, right. but I'm sure it's going to be good. It's going to be great organizing, tips, advice, and all the great things we promised through this yes, show. Yes, exactly. And now it's the weekend, so that's it for my organization. Have a good one. Dot live live.